Lay down on the ground. Lay on the ground right now. Oh, Spokane, we don't have a ton to compare it to. We both grew up in the area, but uh, we, we like it. It's a good size, um, keeps us busy. You know, it's, it's got a good mix of people here, and uh, it's, we're a decent enough size uh, department that you can get into some, some other fields and whatnot, so it, it's a good fit for me, and, and I, I believe it's a good fit for Officer Anderson as well. We're on our way right now to a person with a weapon assault call, trouble unknown. We don't really know what's going on. There's a uh, male in a plaid shirt jumping people's fences. Uh, he's possibly armed with a knife. We don't really have any information right now. This guy apparently is on drugs. We're going to contact him, see what his deal is. This guy's wanted to. Get on the ground! Lay down! Lay down on the ground! Lay on the ground right now! <laughs> Roll over! Roll over! All right, stop. Oh, Quit man, no, stop. Pull your arms out. Quit resisting. Hands out. Stop resisting. Pull your arms out. Hands out. Put your arms out okay, now. Everyone, everyone, let me go. Put your arms out now. Put your arms out now. I can't breathe. No, don't let me. Hit him again. Please, God. Stop resisting. Stop fighting. Get your hands out from underneath you. Get your hands out from underneath you now. Stay where you're at. Please let me go. Oh, What's your deal today, man? Uh, I saw this guy on the flyer. He might be wanted. What's your name, man? Mike what? Mike what? You got any ID on you today? No? I don't think so. no? Let's pat him down. Uh, uh, oh. Any weapons on you? Oh, man. Just relax. Over. Uh, What's your problem today, man? I have no problem today. I'm just going to get my bike. You hopped up on something? No. What are you using? I'm sitting at the river, man, drawing pictures. What are you using? Sitting on my face. What's your deal, man? I'm okay. That hurt, man. Who did that to me? They sucked me really hard. Why Stay where you're at. Like Stay where you're at. Are you a complainant? Do you call? With me. Me and Ray Mel all over it. 375. We have one detained. We're code four. I just push it back over the fence when he tried to come in. What's going on, man? Uh, this guy actually came up to me. I was just standing out here. I just seen him walking down the street. Uh, he hit his arms all up like this. And okay. He was walking down the street, staggering, talking to the sky. Uh -huh. He was uh, looked like he was sky hunting methamphetamines right. or, or some kind of drugs. And uh -huh. he threatened. He came up to me and he threatened to kill me. And, and this guy actually heard him from yeah, floor down the block. Okay. okay. What, what what exactly did he say? He said, I'll, "I'll kill you." And then he ran up to me and tried swinging on me okay. about two times. I had to back up and I actually had to run okay. backwards. Okay. Well, did, did you feel like he was uh, going to carry out that threat today? Oh, yeah. Absolutely? Oh, yeah. OK. You, you definitely felt threatened? Today? I felt definitely threatened by this guy. Okay. He's a pretty big dude. He's got a lot of rings on him. He right. probably could have. I, what I, saw. Uh -huh. I was outside cleaning my yard, uh -huh. or my street. Uh -huh. And I saw him, this guy right here, over here at his house. And this guy right here lying on the ground, I saw him uh, walking up and down here, pacing up and down, threatening people walking as he's walking by. And I was like, dude, I hope somebody calls cops on Because if I call, they're not going to do nothing. Yeah. Because they haven't done nothing lately for okay. me anyway. So. All right. Okay, so you heard him threatening him. What exactly did he say? He goes, I'm going to shoot you with a gun. Okay. Yeah, he did. <laughs> All right. Okay, you guys sit tight for one second, okay? Yep. All right, bro. Jerry. Yeah. Felony harassment, too. Felony harassment. Yeah. Dope. Okay. Obstructing. Okay. We've got a transport car coming. Okay. Oh, where's the dope at? It's in that little, that little thing. Oh, this here? Okay. These are probably hydrocodone. Doesn't have his name on them. Okay. Hop up, ma'am. He's about to make it over your fence, wasn't he? No, you were. 
He's about to make it over your fence. Yeah, you blocked him, didn't you? No, I appreciate it. Thanks. You have a good. All right, you have a good day, man. Pretty Peter Park. You got any needles on you? Get off the car. Huh? What are you doing, man? What are you doing, man? I'm searching you right now. Why are you searching right now for? Any needles on you or anything like that? What are you guys doing? You're under arrest. I already told you that. Why am I under arrested, man? It's looking like you're under arrest now for my friend. I'm driving my bike. He had my bike. He said I'd come and get it today. Very non compliant, Dave. He tried uh, making it over this fence as we were trying to get to him. This guy blocked him from getting over his fence, and that's when we grabbed him. We need photos of him for anything uh, before we uh, put him in. You know, there's there's no marks from the taser on the back of his neck. Okay. So, good deal. He's feeding him. He's right feeding him. Now. We pulled up, stop. Suspects in the middle of the street, supposed to have a knife, and uh, he. We get out, tell him to stop, tell him to get on the ground. He takes off running this direction. This feller here blocks him from getting over the fence, kind of keeps him from coming over. Okay. And Jeremy gets a hold of him. We go on the ground right in front of the fence, and he starts fighting with us. So I threw the cartridge off my taser and basically under arrest for obstructing at that point. Touched on him once on the back of the neck, got a little bit of compliance, but he still wouldn't give us his hands and still kept him underneath his body. So I gave him another one and we were able to wrestle his arms out from underneath him. So okay. and passers and took knives and whatever hard out of him real quick. Found that little can canister he's under arrest for obstructing. Took that little canister off him, got a the meth. Okay. So he's going to go to jail for that as well. I'm doing what my wife and my parents didn't want me to do, and I'm working in drugs. I'm undercover, and I'm where exactly where I want to be that nobody else wanted me to be. And I, I work long hours, and there's a lot of stuff that goes on. I get to dress up how I want, get to grow the beard and the hair. Okay. And uh, I get to have a lot of fun with it, and the family gets to enjoy it, too. We get to do a lot of things. Uh, that that most people don't get to see and, and do. I just saw a guy. He had a, uh, it's a short guy. He had a baggie of, of uh, dope in his hand, and he didn't see that I saw him. So I'm going to turn around, and I'm going to try to try to get up on him before he runs. Come here, partner. How you doing? Pittsburgh Police. Hands up. What's all this about? Ho, ho, ho. Come here. Don't ho, ho, homie. What are you talking about, ho, ho? Put What's your hands up there. About, Put man? your hands up. What is all this about, Put man? your hands up. Come on, man. What Put them up. What is all this about, man? I ain't, got, I ain't never did nothing wrong, man. What are you doing? If you don't put your hands up, you're about uh, to get... What are you doing, man? You hear me? What are you doing? You hey, hear me? It's somebody else. No, no, no. Come on, man. Don't... Now, I, go I, ahead. I, I, go I, ahead. Put them up. Do it. On your head. Get on your knees. Do what I tell you. What's the problem with that? Get on your knees. This is crazy. Put your hands behind your back. What did I do, man? Come on, man. What did I do, man? Put them. What did I do, man? Put your hands behind your back. What did I do? No, 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 man. Put your hands behind your back. Man. Do it right now. Behind your back. I can't. How am I Roll over. How am I put behind my back? Uh, I saw it. I saw I'm it. Put it behind my back and you on me, man. I don't have nothing on me, man. Come on, man. I ain't got nothing on Come on, man. Come on, man. I don't have nothing on me, man. Put it in the sewer. Man, I ain't even I ain't got nothing on me, man. Damn. I don't have nothing on me, man. You just dump no, dope right down that nothing. sewer. I, not, I, I ain't dog, nothing, and I saw you do it. Oh, you don't talk to me. Outside. Don't talk to me. Come on, man. Stand man. up. Look at this, man. Yeah, look at it. Look at this, Look man. at it. Hey, look at this, man. This is crazy, man. I don't got on me, man. Nothing. Man, he, Let me put him in your car, Lee. All right? Yeah, he threw a bunch of dope down man, that I sewer. Now, how am I throw it in the sewer and I have my hands behind my back? This is crazy, man. Look at this, man. This is crazy. Get in there. He threw a bag of dope right down here, and I don't know how I'm going to get it. How about as soon as I turn him, 
I saw him when I drove up. He put a bag of dope down the front of his pants. I turn around on, I get out on him. He starts not fighting, wrestling with me a little bit. I put him on the ground, and he dropped it right down there. I don't so know how to get out of these cars, I wonder. I got it, Frank. All right, hold it. Don't get, put that under it, and I'll do it again. Put that right there. Yeah, pull this in up right here. Yeah. There it is, right there. It's that crack right there. See it? Is yep. The wall? Yeah. It's right there on that napkin. There's one by the, by there, is there one on the wall too? Okay. No, I can see it. Back. Yeah, that's it. That's a good idea. <laughs> it's doing the dry sewer. Can you reach it, Frank? I don't know, Tom. Let me try. Hold on. I'll hold you. <laughs> right, Frank, you ain't going to get it like that. You're going to spill my crack. Here, you know what? I'll show you the wrong car. Here, Here Frank. I'm reach. Yeah, sir. Reach your big long arm down in there and get that. Right there. Got it? No. No, it's still there. Right there. Who working me now? Feel around. <laughs> I think I got one knotted bag out of it. All right, hang, hang on right there. I think a piece just yeah, fell out. Yeah, just fell right there. Ah, oh, yeah, gosh. Killing me. You got some of it. Nice. We got a, uh, a bag of crack, probably about 10 knotted bag ends. Oh, yeah, no. No, it's all right. I, I saw it. That's good. Thanks, man. <laughs> I've had guys fight with me and do everything they can, swallow dope, throw dope in bush and trash cans. I've never had anybody throw dope down a sewer right in front of me. First time for this. What are you going to do? Go in and get it. Yeah, I'm done, Sarge. What did you think was going to happen? Come on, man. What did you think was going to happen? You saw me look at you. And that's why I stopped. You saw me, I saw you put it right down your pants. What do you mean, no, I didn't? What did I put down my pants? You put that bag of crack right, I turned right around. Why do you think I came back on you? I want to come bump you or something? I was just going to come and say, what's up? Why would I do that? Is that what you call cooperate? Hey, 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 no, 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 you can't ask me anything. Is that what you were doing, cooperating? You a question? No. Answer my question first. Can I ask you a question? No, I wasn't. Answer me. Right. No, you weren't. Okay, now what do you want to know? Can I ask you a question? What? So if you're just driving, you're driving down the street, you do this to everybody that you see? People, I do it to see? everybody I everybody see put crack down the front of their pants. That's, That's exactly what I, I do. So you just how do, you just automatically assume I got crack on me. I just I'm that good. Pow. Oh, man. You're caught, man. Done. I moved to Alaska over 15 years ago from Nebraska. I fell in love with Alaska. Anchorage is great. It's a great city to raise children in. A lot of opportunities for employment and recreation here in the state. And I think that's what uh, has kept me here as long as I've been here. We've uh, been dispatched to a disturbance with a gun. There's a subject supposedly brandishing a handgun. And there's a dog involved in which possibly the uh, person with the gun is actually giving the dog uh, or commands or allowing the dog to bite another subject that's involved in a physical fight. How I got what? How you got the injuries? You got the bruise on your neck? You yeah, bit so. me here. Um, this is probably just from rolling around on the ground. That's probably just pavement. Rolling around. Oh, here, because the guy, the dog no, with, with him. him. The dog and him both. At first he sicked the dog on me, and then he came at me and hit me in the ear. It's still ringing. Other than that, he didn't really get a slug in, but. You also have, a, looks like a bruise on your uh, right temple. Do you know how you got that one? Probably from that, because I didn't have it before this. Nothing specific. Just Hello. Right. 
Do you see all this out yeah, here? Yeah, pretty much. I've seen the, the end of it anyways. Okay. We just got yeah. home. We were unloading groceries. Hey, goodbye. And then goodbye. Aaron, my wife, came out on the porch. She said, call 911, call 911. So I went ahead and said, you call 911. I came out here, and there was a guy and his dog and another individual there out here attacking Kirk. The dog, the owner of the dog was telling him to sick him on him, and the other guy was saying, I'm going to get a gun. And we're like, hey, just calm down, everybody. Let's just calm down now. This isn't, this isn't either. There's children around. There's kids around. What's going on here? And then he started, he started shouting at my, my wife and calling her names. I was like, hey, that's my wife, guy. How much did your wife see? She seen a little bit more <clears throat> than me because she was the one that notified me that everything was going down when I came out. All right, Aaron, I understand you witnessed what was going on out here. Um, I heard a dog barking really loud, and I came out. Kirk's a really good friend of ours, and the dog was biting him. And some, they were on the ground rolling, and um, that guy was just beating the heck out of him. The other guy was egging him on, the passenger. What did the guy look like that you say was fighting with Kurt directly? I've seen him before, actually, a bunch of times. Um, he had, um, was shirtless. He had jeans on, blue jeans, and I don't know... He had some tattoos. Okay. But I don't know the how guy, to see little his guy. face. He's a tall guy. Okay. Tall. Did you see the dog attack Kurt? Yeah, oh yeah. Okay. And was somebody sending the dog to do that or uh -huh. what happened? Okay. Both of them. The one that was egging it on the most was the passenger. He was egging him on, sick him, sick him, just like telling the dog to bite him. And then they were yelling at me to call the cops, so I did. Mm -hmm. And when the guy saw me on the phone, he pulled out the gun. He said, you're going to call the cops, bitch. I'll kill you. So um, what happened up there on Latouche, exactly? I uh, went there, and my buddy here got in a fight with another guy. And the guy grabbed a hammer when the dog was, Matt's dog was biting him. So I didn't like it, so he cracked him a few times with the hammer. Uh, we left, and here we are. Where were you standing when all this initiated? I was right here between, I don't know, five feet away. Five feet away. Yeah. Did you see either of these individuals we're looking at here actually uh, send the dog on Kurt? or hear them say anything to the I dog? I heard the guy with the green hat saying, sick him. You heard the guy with the green hat say, sick him to the dog? Okay. Sick him to her, right. There's still a question about a hammer, and one of these subjects uh, are apparently stating that they may have been struck by a hammer. Did you see that occur? I didn't see anybody get struck with a hammer. I know I've seen Kirk pick up a hammer, and it was a complete self-defense mechanism, uh -huh. and it was, it was a deterrent to keep the subject away from him. Okay. I went over there, and uh, he came out of his house and issued a challenge. I, I walked across the street. He had a framing hammer behind his back. The first thing he did was he swung it at my face. And did the hammer, out. the hammer came out right at first, or were you guys right already involved first. before the hammer came nope. out? Nope. I can tell you that I have several people that live over there in that area, some that know Kurt, some that don't, that are telling me that he didn't have the hammer when you guys first uh, got into it in the street, that he only went back for the hammer in self-defense after you and your dog had attacked him in the middle of the street. Yeah, and that's not true about us attacking him. I mean, he was the first to start swinging and stuff. Yeah. He was standing well, outside. You his understand house. how it looks, though. You went there, right, Matt? I mean, I you went to him. That's right? why I'm here right, right now, and I'm probably going to go to jail over the whole thing or whatever. And, and that was my mistake. But, and but what's the scoop with the dog? The because I've also got several witnesses that say that uh, your friend here was actually sicking the dog on Kurt, saying those words telling the dog to get him. I don't know what they were doing because I was in the middle of an altercation, but I never submitted any command to my dog okay. at all to okay. sick anybody. I told my dog like five different times to get back in my motorhome again. Okay. And the witnesses should testify to that too. Okay. Again, these also... witnesses are all Kirk's friends and neighbors. Not all of them. So... No, that's what I'm telling you, not all yeah. of them. Okay. Anything else, Matt? No, sir, that's it. Okay. Go off tape at about 10.31 p.m. Um, have you photographed him? Yes. Okay. All right. If you just hang tight, I'm going to talk to him real quick. Hi, sir. Hi. There's a female in the area that apparently was saying she was going to call the cops, and she says that you made a threat to her when you were holding the gun. That's not true. Well, did you have words with her of some sort? No. If it's the brunette that was upstairs in the middle apartment, uh -huh. she was telling Matt, yelling down at Matt, I'm going to call the cops, I'm going to call the cops. No, that gun was in my hands a, a matter of 20 seconds. I showed the CO2 mm -hmm. gun, showed him that, and I laid it back down. I didn't wave it, I didn't point, I didn't do anything. I'm not a troublemaker, yeah. period. Okay. I mean, I did not, I'm not stupid enough to aim a gun at anybody. I'm not an idiot enough to threaten someone somebody's life. I'm a single dad. I work. You know, I don't want to get in trouble over this. All right, Matt. I need you to put your phone in your pocket. Oh, sir. I need you to turn dad. around for me. Turn around. You're going to me, Turn sir? around. Put your hands on your back. Spread your feet apart for me. Officer, what did I do? What did I do? You're under arrest for two counts of assault. Please, I'm a single father. I didn't do anything. All right. Officer, we... This one? 
Please. This side? I can't believe this. What am I being arrested for? Well, the assault. So we're looking at felony assault on the shirtless guy over there for the dog portion, for allowing his dog to bite the other guy on Latouche. We're looking at a misdemeanor assault for the physical stuff with him instigating or being the primary aggressor in the fight with the guy. We're looking at two counts of felony assault on the guy over there with the sweatshirt. One for actually sending the dog to attack the other guy, and one for threatening the witness who was going to call the police. My father was a narcotics Pittsburgh police officer for a long time, and, and he uh, suggested to me when I got off active duty to become a police officer, and naturally I followed in his footsteps. And, uh, you know, he, he liked it. He thought it was a rewarding job. And 17 years later, I have to agree with him. Uh, it was just a big fight call at this, uh, at this bar. So we're going to uh, roll through here and uh, make sure no one's going out to their cars to get their guns, which uh, generally happens a lot out here. Guys will go to their cars, get their guns, and there'll be gunshots and shots fired and people getting shot. So we're going to creep around here and we'll kill this light real quick. See if we can creep up on a couple guys. Is there, has he got a bottle sticking out of his pocket? Left side? Looks yeah. like it, huh? He's gonna run, Jack. Come, Come here, man. Pittsburgh Police, put your hands up. There he goes. Oh, yeah, I'm on you. One unit available in the area of two, three, seven. Go, put your hands on your back. You hear me? I guess so. on your back. Let me see your hand, my man. You hear me? You got him down? He's down. Jay! Jay I got his down. gun right here. Get your hand away from your tech nine. What are you, crazy? Do you want to get shot? Nah. I guess so. Roll over. Huh? Roll over. On your stomach. And put your hands around your back. You got it? Yeah, I got it. It's going to get locked down. Let's watch. Bring your arm back, man. Don't play around. Down. Right? Bring it out. A little bit further. Like go right by, back by the tree. He dropped a mag right there. You got the gun already, Jay? Yeah, I got it off him. He got, he got something because he's on, watching. He got it tucked on his left side of his, yeah, I see. his waist. Let's get him out of here. I'll search him on the street. Stand up. Get off. Sit down. Sit down. You get it? Down. Carry it. Down. Sit down. Roll over. Because that guy shot. He dropped that. Going to foot pursuit. I knew his uh, pants was bulging like a bat, big dog on the left side. First, I thought it might have been a bottle because it was so big. I don't know. The other one ran too. Hey, my uh, my radio went down back here, man. You got him? Yeah, got him. Nice tech nine. Yeah, it tucked right on the, on the left side of him, right in here. Like this, we could see it sticking out. I could see the handle. I almost thought it was a bottle until I started going more sideways. We asked him to stop for a second. Wham, he just grabbed it and took off running. We knew right there, there's no doubt. And when I got behind him running, he, uh, he was running trying to get it out, but he, he dropped his magazine. He just kept it with him right there. He kept one hand on it, one hand running. I was able to get him here and tackle him on the, on the fence. And he's still still trying to go for it. I don't, why were you trying to go for it, Tony? Are you still trying was, to get rid of it or what? It out. Huh? Was it stuck on your belt or something? Pulling it out, Dude, that's yeah. how you get shot, get man. I mean, that was just stupid. Hand. Best thing to do is just comply with the instructions. Put your hands behind your back, get cuffed up, and let me get it. <sighs> Ain't worth dying over. Pass what were you carrying a gun for? Hmm? What are you carrying a gun for? Because I got shot. When? Last year. Last year. 
You just need it for somebody some protection. Somebody robbed me, yeah, and shot me. What's your name, man? Huh? What's your name? Alonzo. Alonzo. Oh, my man, tonight you're going to jail for, for Bufa. You understand? That's carrying a concealed firearm without a license. Hey, guys, it's all yours. I'll just keep the cuffs on him and get back to him. Um, yeah. Actually, he's going to want those. We're off for the next couple of days, so if you don't mind switching them out. Yeah. What made y'all stop me? Because I can see the bulge. Out. Yeah, you so can't hide a Tech 9, it. man. You realize how big that gun is? And you're kind of a skinny guy, man. You know? Yeah. I found this. Once, uh, once he was under arrest, I searched him. I was still so excited, I didn't even open it up. I handed it to the transporting officer. And he actually opened it up and found the crack cocaine. The gun, man, he's got a Tech 9 uh, loaded up with a full, fully loaded magazine. And uh, he's got a, we pull his shirt up, he's got a Tech 9 tattooed on him. His story was that he was shot a year ago, he was robbed, and it ain't gonna happen again. Absolutely. So we got him with the felony drug charges now and the, uh, the felony for carrying a concealed firearm without a license. All right, partner. We found this on you, too. You want to tell me what's up? Huh? It's a lot of crack, my man. Well, you're getting charged with the possession and the possession with intent to deliver, too. Uh, I got a call, female causing a disturbance in an address down here. Um, possibly by premise history, there may either be like a uh, injunction, trespass warning, something like that. But we can't be sure because we don't we don't have any names really at this point. Two, four, ten, so ten, nine, seven. Good evening, everyone. You sharing? Yes. OK, you got any ID on you, Sharon? Yes, I do. Is there a, there a, a trespass warning or something for you here? Be careful now. How much you had to drink tonight? A little bit. A little bit? Yeah. Uh, you still live on Eagle? Yeah. I live in the woods. What, you live in the woods? Do me a favor, Sharon. Sit right down on this right here. Just sit right down there for me, please. 214, so it'll be 10 4 and 2. She threw over to my yard, throwing beer cans at me and everything else. And I'm like, then she's hitting my old lady with beer cans and everything else. I'm like, I looked over here and I'm like, what? So I rode my lawnmower back over here. Next thing you know, she's. All right, she tore the fence down? I literally watched her tear it down. We're all facing the street right here. All right. Yeah. You want to press charge for criminal mischief? Yes, I do. You do? Yes, I do. Yes, right, I do. You filled out a statement saying that you saw her do this and that's what yes. she did? Yes, I will. All right, let me get some paperwork together. I'm reading we'll right, right fluently. All right, be right back with you, all right? Not a problem. Why'd you tear the fence down? What did I tear the fence down? Yeah. On my heart. Why'd you tear this man's fence? I don't tear no man. That bitch did his fence. I did never do that. You didn't my do that? Life. You didn't she do that? She didn't do that with Who's a car and truck. She did it with a car? I don't know. Is what they told me. Okay. Well, Sit tight, Sharon. Stupid. I'm Sit tight. Saying. What kind of restraining order? He's saying restraining order. What kind of restraining order did you get? Out of my house. I'm out of my yard, away from me, 500 feet, whatever, you know. She rides by okay, here. Okay, but you didn't actually go down to the courthouse and apply for one and everything? No. Because we don't have any record of a oh, trespass man. warning being issued for here or anything. We, she's got one down the street, but no, Jeez. for here. But we'll oh, make sure my. she has that, and obviously we got the damage. What What'd she start doing with the damage to your fence? Uh, she, 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 she's off, over man. here. Was she or was she not? I mean, what? No. Was she? Was she not? Yanking she on the fence, man. Yank my fence apart right there. That's property damage right there. The gate. Man. So that that gate that's on the ground used right, to be. Right. That's what I'm saying. Attached is what you're saying. Right. Right. It was up there. She come inside here and just yanked the damn thing off, man. Okay. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Yay! Hey, well, yeah, you hey. grabbed it from him? Whoops. Sit down. Sit down. Hey, you grabbed it from him? Sit down. That's his house. 
you need to sit he down. He lives in my listen house. To listen to me. You need to he sit down. Get a you me. need to sit down you. and chill out. If you don't listen to me, I'm put you in cuffs. All right. Sit down. You can talk to that officer back over here. You know what? Yeah. Why are you sitting there? Get my man. What's going on, big dog? Well, I'd say, if nothing else, we got disorder. Now, get Rick out here. Okay. Get Rick out here. I, I, th Rick. I think you could probably come up no, it's no problem. with that one. Rick. Right. Um, yeah, he's laughing. What'd I tell you? Okay. He got to come out there. Go ahead. And... He got to come out there. Look at what he's doing. Right. Stand up. He's got, he's got my boxes, man. He's in my box. He's in my box. Come on. He takes my Okay, well, you won't sit down and you won't listen, so now you're going to be put in cuffs, okay? Uh, now he's in cuffs. You know what? You're dying, you slut. Rick. If you don't sit still, you're, you're going to hurt. Come on. Rick. Come on. Come on. You back me? You laughing? You laughing? I'm laughing. I'm going to kill you. No way. You can't kill me. You can't kill me. No. Those cups. Their they're, hands are small. Do you, I got let me get, get my Smith gonna, cups right there. Get, get my Smith cups. I'm not gonna hurt you. Ain't gonna, please. You got her, Bob? Yeah, I got her. I got, sm I got smaller size cups. Than do that. That. I love my little self. I never hurt you. Believe my heart. I'm an officer. Right here. Relax, Sharon. I never hurt nobody. Relax. Good. Don't. You better get her. You know that. Don't try to kick back on me. Just, just relax. Stop pushing. Just try to get Relax. You, Ben, and Lee, and you, and you know what you are? Yeah, that's right, you, Ben. Stop trying you to kick. Go. Keep your mouth nobody. shut. You face. Hush. I know. Excuse me. Okay, Sharon, let's step up like a lady. No, those are balls. Step up. That's it. All the way. All the All way. Right. One, two, three. Let's go. Okay, I'm going to walk to the back seat. Relax. Relax. Hey. Excuse me. Sharon, sit down. Hey. Put your feet in. Put your feet in. Put your feet in now. Yeah, bro. I gotta breathe. I hate Jack. I hate Jack. Put your feet in. You're my friend. Boy, hey. she gets drinking for me. Do you, do you guys invite her over here? Is that what the deal is? Oh, no. no. Okay. No, so in other words, if I if I trespass her, nobody's going to be inviting her back over. Is, is that no. correct? Right, but we didn't want her to hurt bad. Okay, well, you don't want her over here? We do not want no, her over here. Okay, the only way to enforce that. We don't want the only her way to, bad. Hang on a sec. Can you can you let me talk here? Well, what we'll go ahead and do then is trespass her. We all love her, too. Uh, but well. she's... Sometimes she just gets out of hand and gets out of hand and, and out of clan. Thought, thought she was heading down the street there for a second. Yeah. She slipped out. I thought she was going to get the other one because he had her he had her by the cuffs. I thought she was going to just slip out and take off. Yeah. But she's small. Can't do nothing. <laughs> her wrist like that. My my small cuffs were yeah. all the way to the last notch. So living in the woods will do that to you. This is a real quiet neighborhood. There's last night, last call I came to was for a bear in the neighborhood. And uh, we don't make it back here too often. Don't have too many problems back here. And it's a nice older neighborhood, probably uh, from the 70s when they started developing it. We're going to a male female verbal disturbance over here in the neighborhood. The male half is waiting for us outside. What's going on? Do a favor, take your hands out of your pocket. What's going on? Uh, me and my girlfriend got in a fight. Is that your girlfriend there in the uh, white pants? A female friend of mine. Okay. And I went to get my cell phone turned up because she turned off the house phone. Okay. Okay, so I came back and all my stuff was in that dumpster right there. Everything okay. I own. Okay. Destroyed. Okay. Did it ever become physical tonight? No. No? Okay. No, no that's why I called you before I got physical. You okay. Know, I, I'm not I'm not stupid. Okay. You know? I just, you know, everything I own is in that dumpster, dude. Destroyed. Her dad threw everything I own in the dumpster without even giving me notice, without even saying anything to me. Okay. What, was, know, what were you guys arguing about today? About today? Oh, we just got in a fight and we, we broke up. 
Okay. So I said, okay, I'll go my way and you go your way. Okay. Yeah. And is she in the apartment right now? Yeah, they're both in there, screaming the top of their lungs at me. Okay. Her and her dad? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, everything I own is now built through. That's illegal. Okay. That's well, let me go talk. Let me go talk to her. Is okay. this Dad here? Yeah, it's Dad. Okay, where's your car at? I don't have a car. Okay, won't well, won't you wait here then, All since right. Dad's over there? Yeah. I'll be back with you in a second. All, right. All my belongings is in that dumpster. Okay. Fifty two by oh well seven one zero thirty nine. Copy. Thanks. How you doing, sir? Good. The story is my no, daughter no, no, no. met this Dad, guy a year and a half ago. No, I want to talk I to her. And then I'll talk to you in a second, okay? Yes, um, I basically, he's not on the lease. He okay. is not on one single bill here. Mm -hmm. My landlord has a copy of it. Um, pretty much, he's had about 11 jobs in the last year. Okay. He's cheating on me. And um, I pretty much told him today I've done everything else. That I, I gave him 30 days notice. Mm -hmm. He had that. When he showed up with another woman tonight, I said, you know what? I, I can't do this anymore, so I brought his things out here, and he proceeded to, to, to go nuts out here. What did you want to say, sir? This, I'm, uh, this is my daughter, Jennifer. Mm -hmm. And she's been telling me so many things on the telephone, mm -hmm. crying all the time because of this guy. Well, what, what you know about what happened tonight? Tonight? Yeah, were you I've here at all? Here. Or? I've been here okay. comforting After my left. daughter since he left. Okay. I'm gonna go talk to him again and see if he's gonna just grab his stuff and go. Just so you know, okay, you need to actually evict him, even though he's not on the lease, I he did. hasn't been paying. I did. Okay. Do, through he, the court? He has through, okay, okay. through the court? Have you evicted him through the court? He's not on the lease. Doesn't sir. matter. It doesn't matter. In the of state this. of Alaska, okay, I'm, that's, that's, what, that's what I'm trying to tell you, okay? <laughs> In the state of Alaska, even though he's not paying rent, he's not on the lease, he's staying there. Okay, this is his residence, okay? And you can't just throw him out, okay? Now, okay, wait, wait, wait. So, just so you know, what you need to do is go through the eviction process and actually get the court, a court order evicting him, okay? And then if he's refusing to leave then, then, then the judicial services, which is a branch of the troopers, they come out and actually assist you, and they will actually physically remove him. I'm going to go talk to him again and see if he's going to just grab his stuff and go. All right. That's insane. So you guys have got problems, right? Yeah, we are, yeah. Okay. And all she had to do is say leave, and I would have left. Okay. You know, so I here, here's, your, here's, I... your op here's your opportunity to leave then. Is your friend, your friend left? Yeah. Okay, is there anyone else that can come pick you up and yeah, your stuff? They're, yeah, they're, they're in their way. Okay. Okay. As far as whatever happened to your stuff here, you know that that's that's not criminal. That's all civil problem. You can take her to civil court for yeah, any damages. Man, I don't think that's right. Okay. That's ridiculous, man. That's all everything I own. Okay. Well, how how concerned are you about it right now? What do you mean concerned? That's everything I have. If you're that concerned about it, if that was that important to you, you'd be in that dumpster taking that stuff out. So oh, let's let's going, not let's not get indignant. Because I didn't think. Let's not get indignant about it because you're not that concerned. Well, I can't even go yeah. in my own apartment and look for the rest of my stuff. We can ask her. Yeah. But we're not gonna we're not gonna sit here and argue about stuff, okay? Can you tell her that I would like to go in the apartment and get the rest yep, of my I stuff? Yep, I sure will. Yep. Why don't you work on starting getting some of your stuff out though? Okay, he's saying that he doesn't think that that's all his stuff and wants to do a walkthrough, okay? Sir, he's gonna take things that I've paid for. No. <laughs> things that are in con that are gonna be contested, he's not gonna be t taken, okay? I mean, I don't have receipts for these things. These are things that I've bought. I mean, okay. I things that are contested, we're not going to let them take. Jen, let them do it. We're not here to do that. Let the officer okay. go through the house with him. Fine. He mess. can't take it out of the house. Let him do it. Okay. Please excuse the mess. Not a problem. He can have the jackets that he came with. You're able to, ma'am, you're able to see what he's... I can't see it. Okay. Nope, the Nike Jack is mine I bought. Oh, man. Sir? Sir? This is ridiculous, stop. man. You need to stop. Do you understand? This is Christmas presents. Sir, you're about two seconds away from getting put in handcuffs. Okay? We're trying to help you out. If you're not going to be cooperative, we're just going to end it right now. We've already explained. Whatever item she doesn't mind you taking, you get to take. Other items you're going to have to go to court about. Okay? Um, nope, I paid for that shirt, too. The shoes I didn't pay for, you can have All right, all right, all right, I'll tell you what, I'm leaving. 
I'm leaving, and we'll settle this in civil court because all this stuff is mine. No, these are items that I got okay. for you. That, that, Let's go. You can't, that's ridiculous. You oh, can't do that. Though, I didn't pay for these. You can't do that. That's so ridiculous. Let's go. Let's go. That's ridiculous. Please take these right? though, because I didn't. Ma'am, he doesn't want to take anything else. So. Okay. No, no. I, 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 here, let's go. And understand that if an item is given as a gift, any court's going to give it back to him. Okay. You gave but it to him. He's got no so. way of proving that. And I have no way of except that except either. except you said that you gave these items to him, so no, I gave him he these are ma'am ma'am yeah, just understand the point. That's okay. all I'm saying. Okay, okay? You, on those items you're gonna lose in court. Okay. okay. It's unfortunate for both of them. Uh, she has to understand that she can't just throw them out and uh, throw his stuff out, and uh, they both have issues to work out. So hopefully they can do that uh, sometime uh, later and uh, work it out and. Uh, at least get everyone's stuff sorted out and they can move on with their lives. Working in plain clothes, it allows you to get a little bit closer to things that go on on the street, like drug dealing, guys carrying guns with, without them realizing who you are. Although, <laughs> most of these guys know us. Uh, you know, when, when you get within a half a block of them, they know who you are anyway. We're trying to uh, catch up this vehicle and stop it for the stop sign violation. It uh, failed to stop at the last intersection. Okay, FTE. Thirty-seven eighty-four. Yeah, they're gonna run. They're running. 3794. Start us some mark units on Baxter. We're behind Foxtrot Tango Echo. It's a dark colored Aurora. Just they just threw out a bunch of narcotics outside the vehicle on Baxter. So I found to stop for us here. We're going to be turning on to Ray Street. They just threw out another bag of narcotics. Continuing on race inbound. Rate of speed is 25. Crossing over Collier, he's making a right onto Collier. I got him. All right, he's making a left onto Monticello. Gun went out right there. Just threw a gun out on Monticello. Gun went There's out. There's a gun right on Monticello. Rate of speed is 35. Coming up to North Lang. He's making a right onto North Lang. We're on North Lang. We just crossed over Hermitage Street. All right, he's continuing. He just crossed over Upland Street. We're still on North Lang. Rate of speed is 30 miles an hour. Left on Chaucer. He's making a left onto Chaucer Street. He just wrecked right here on Chaucer Street, base. Hold on, hold on. Back in it. Step out of the car with your hands up, put your leg in. Step out of the car. Climb out then. Chaucer, Chaucer and Upland, we're out, they wrecked. Turn around. Put your hands behind your back. Keep your hands behind your back. Thirty-seven eighty-four. We have the vehicle stopped here. Three in custody. Keep us some units rolling here. We're on Chaucer, right off of North Lang. Okay. Here, for this one. Pass him to me. Come here, man. Come here. Let's go. Down on the ground. Step on out of here. You got weed all over you. So you weren't the one throwing it out, were you? Huh? Step back here. There's what's left of the bag. Still got weed all over back here. Hey, can you go up and get the gun? Here, I'm gonna go. Eric, come here and take these two. I know right where it went. Come over here. Lay down on the ground. Whose car is it? 
No. It's yours? Yeah. Do you have a license? No. You got three people going? Oh, yeah, you're going. Oh, yeah, I know I'm going. All right. I know I'm going. You can see it was a gallon sized bag. Probably had a pound. There's still weed all over the seat. Plus the uh, front passenger we saw throw the gun out. I had a shake ever. My partner's going to get the gun. Andre, what's up, man? I'm all right. What happened, man? We was just going home. I was going to leave. Me and my girlfriend, we was just going home. Why didn't you pull over for the police? Do you know that guy? I know him a little bit. Hmm? I know him a little bit. I just know him from Sam. Where do you know him from? Where do you know him from? I just know him from, like, his name going around in the neighborhood. What's he doing in your car? Huh? What's he doing in your guys' car? Hmm? What's he doing in your girl's car? Oh. Hey, she was just taking him to work. She was dropping him off, and we were just going home. That's all we was doing. So you're telling me you didn't notice that he was holding a big bag of marijuana and was just dumping it out? No, I didn't know. I didn't know. You didn't know? Oh. All right. All right. Did you find it? He, uh, he threw a gram scale at The pop popped up. Uh, the top popped off of it, and uh, I thought that was the magazine shooting out of the, the gun, but it wasn't oh, yeah. a gun, it was a It was black, scale. right? Yeah. Because, I mean, it looked like black. I thought it was a gun coming yeah, out, too. Yeah, I thought it was a gun. The marijuana just must have got scattered on the street when we, when we, you know, they were dumping it out, and we were driving right through it. It just probably blew it everywhere. I'm going to go talk to this female. All right. Why did you take off on us? Man, I don't know. A lot of was just going on, I guess. I mean, you caused yourself a lot of problems and damaged your car. Was that car registered to you? Which one is? Yeah. That, yeah. It's your car? Yeah. Do you have a driver's license? Yeah. Is it valid? No. Is it no. suspended? Yeah, I'm going to be honest. What but was it suspended it, for? Huh? What was it suspended for? Oh, um, driving, driving without a license at one time. You know what I'm saying? It was just from tickets. OK. The norm. Nothing, nothing, nothing major. All right, well, you're going to jail for fleeing and eluding, driving without a license. I, I know, I, I know, sir, and I was totally wrong. Okay. All right. All right. Well, I don't think, uh, I don't think you were involved in that. You know what I mean? You had no drugs on you. Uh, he had the drugs on him. When we got him, we saw him dumping the, the uh, marijuana out he had, in the scale. And, uh, you know, your girl's got to go for the crazy driving, man. But I'm going to let you go, partner. Go ahead and step on out of here. I've been a uh, police officer here in Palm Springs for a little over seven years. Worked patrol for three years. I've been working narcotics for the last four years. Uh, this is a really great place to work. And the only thing I can recommend is that uh, you guys going from investigations back to patrol need to put their uniform on at least once a month to make sure it fits uh, every now and then. We got dispatched to a sounds of glass breaking uh, up here at the motel just north of the freeway. and. Then um, a few minutes later, the uh, the office manager from Motel's calling, saying there's a male adult uh, banging on the office window and his arms bleeding, might be related somehow to this uh, glass break. And I just saw a male matching the description walking out the front of the office, and he's coming out the front door now. There he is. Turn out and be able to mail on the shorts by the office. Okay, come over here. What's going on? Need some help in there. Come over here and sit down. Come over here. Over there. Come over here and sit down. What's going on? Oh my God. Come over here. Okay. Tell me what's going on. Sit down. Sit down. Sit we down. Need, sit down. You need help. Sit down. Tell me what's going on. Okay. Okay. I'll give you help. What's you going on? Help. What's need help? I'm out with a male and uh, he's bleeding out. He's really making too much help. sense. What's going on? Over there. Look, you see that woman there? Yeah, what's going on? They need help. What's wrong with you? They got help. Yeah, I've got a guy a little uh, incoherent up here, uh, bleeding Over from there. the elbow. Go ahead and start medical aid. Stay, don't move, OK? This guy was literally robbing these people. He oh. was just going in their pockets. 
you know, literally just going in their pockets. And he was breaking into the, the rooms, too, and I told him not to. You know, I, I came out and I told him, hey, don't go into the rooms. He was running like a crazy man around the building trying okay. to steal from people. Hang on a second. Yeah. Yeah. Right there, look. Okay, let me see your arm. Let me make sure your arm's OK. OK, but do you see that man? Yeah, 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 yeah. Give me a favor. I'm just going to make sure that you're OK. Ow. There you go. Ow. Put your other arm. Sit up for me. But not to help. There you go. But I just want to do this because I don't know what's Ow. going on right now, right? Okay. Owie. I need you to stand up. Okay, Tilt okay. your leg under there. OK, you OK. Go. Let, let me help Stand you. up. OK, thank you. Oh, thank you. You know what? Thank you. Good. Have a seat. We'll figure okay. out what's going on here in a minute. Ow, 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 ow. Oh. You're OK. Can you loosen this up a little bit? Yeah, it's loose. I, I will have, a here, seat. Just have a seat. No, right? no problem. So play right now. Play. All right, just have a seat, all right? Just look. Look, 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 look. look. Yeah, ow, have ow, a seat ow. for me. Have a seat. Ow, ow. Have a seat. Ow. Have a seat. Ow. OK. Yeah, you Put your leg in. Owie, 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 owie. Thank you. There you go. Ow. Inside. Go talk to them and see what I got. What was going on with this guy here? Okay, we, we're coming from the Los Angeles. Yeah. We had the vacation okay. the, for this weekend. So I parked my car there. The white car? Yeah, the white okay. car. And put my car here, he opened the door. He said, get out, get out. Why is the work? What I would say, he need help. He need help. But he kept telling you he needed help? OK. Uh -huh, but that's all. That so was it? OK, did he try to take anything from you? He want to take my, my keys. I put my kids inside for the, the window. Okay. I give the, the guy the guy. Let me talk to him real quick to see if he can tell me where he's from. I mean, I doubt it. He needs to be all, you know. Yeah, let me, let me get one more thing from the manager, and then I'll, I'll come over. You guys just want to stand by with him. This car here? They have any loss? No, nothing was lost. Uh, everything that they took everything out of the car. They had, like, a GPS system and some other stuff. But uh, I don't know if he used this rock. But there's blood all over the center console. So there's he was blood up here. Yeah. And then there's another window right there. Blood all over the window sill there. No loss in here, right? No, no, we're under renovations. So you can't take anything. Okay, thanks. There's some blood inside the window sill. And this guy's bleeding, so I can't put two and two together on that one, but. I can't imagine why this guy's going around busting windows. It's actually too bizarre, and it's probably had a little bit too much meth today, so. All I'm saying is, you're yeah. the man. What's going on with you tonight? Why are you acting so weird? You broke out a window at 138. You broke out some person's car window. You uh -huh. come over here and you try to rip these people out of their yeah. car. Yeah. Yeah? Why? No, 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 no. You don't understand. No, I don't. I'm trying to okay, okay, understand. Okay. Well, I don't want to break in. Where are you from, man? Huh? Where are you from? Uh, San Jacinto. See, you, see, you can answer that pretty clearly. So yeah. answer me why you're here and what you're doing here. That's what I like to know. You don't know why? No. How did you get here? I don't know. How do you think you got here? No, I don't want to. I swear, I... Do you have any friends here? Are you staying at this motel? No. Now, how, why are you here from San Jacinto? I, I don't know. I swear. How much did you have to drink tonight? Nothing. Does she smell like alcohol? Yeah. Any cars no, crashed around here? here? Hello. He was at the casino with his parents. Yes. And then... You were at the casino? And then he ended up with here, and parents. I asked him, you know, well, how did you get here? He's like, I don't know. I don't know. Hello. I don't know. And that's basically it. Okay. The story, right. so. Oh, I can smell. Can you smell that? Does it smell yeah. like it? Yeah, bad. Dumb okay. Uh, what? Uh, I was just saying that uh, I don't think you have all your facts right now. Oh. F facts? Yes. Oh, I thought you called me dumb. No, no, no. I just said, I said facts. Sound like you said dumbass, not facts. No, no, facts. no. Facts. Oh. Facts. Listen. We're going to take you for vandalism and drunk in public. So vandalism? That, what yeah. did you do? You broke out a bunch of windows. I didn't break no windows. No? Fathead. Fathead? No, no, I said... I don't think you have your facts right. <laughs> facts right. Now, facts. fathead. All right. I'm just, it sounded like you called me a fathead. No, not the fathead. Right. Now, listen. I'm the fathead. No, I don't think you're a fathead. But listen, if I take this off you, you're not going to kick me or my no, partner? No, wait. I, you know what? If you take this off, I love you. Well, I don't want you to love me. I just want you to be safe and don't kick me or my partner. So oh, I put no. it back. No, 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 no. Not the, not the kick you and the partner. No. I would, I would kiss you guys. No, I don't. I'm not taking it off if you're going to kiss me. Okay, sorry. All it's right. Just that, I, you know, no kissing, okay? All right, no, I, thanks. Officer, oh, that's just no. Did you put that? There Wait. you go. Here you go. Well, go to the hospital. You want me to follow him? Follow me. I'm going to go to the hospital, get his arm checked down, and we'll take him for a drunk in public. He could be okay once he sobers up. I don't know how he got way up here from the casino or Santa Cena, though. I've been a police officer for a little over eight years. For the last six of those years, I've been working for the Spokane Police Department. I love Spokane. It's a, just a really great place to 
to, to live and to raise your kids. And it's, the Spokane Police Department is just an excellent police department to work for. We get lots of good uh, training, lots of good experience. It's, it's just a fun place to work. Okay, we're responding to a possible domestic violence. Somebody called and said their female neighbor just ran out of her house naked, saying she was just assaulted. Uh, caller says a female went back into the house, yeah, but still hears screaming come from the residence. Why don't you have a seat for me right here? Yeah, come on here. To explain, 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 explain what happened. We were, uh, I woke up this morning and I went to ask him for a cigarette and he just, he gets on top of me, gets on top of me and he goes, bitch, you're gonna f me right now. And then he holds me like this. And he has me like this. Okay. When I was sitting out here, he got pissed off because he thought that one of his crack friends was coming up giving me crack or something like that. So uh -huh. he said, you bitch, and they dragged me across there, and that's how I got the Let's see that. Okay, copy. The male involved might be hiding back here somewhere. You're hiding these behind that gray couch. This? Yeah. All right. That's rich. I'll and I'll pull them out. Okay. Get in the couch. Come on out with your hands up. Come on out. Get your hands up, both of them, now. Step out here, keep your hands up. Turn around, it's What are you doing hiding behind a couch in a hot garage? He's our investigation right now. What's your name? Randy. Randy. Okay. Do you have a warrant, Randy? Uh -uh. You don't? I don't think so. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna take him out here and I'll just check this area here real quick. I haven't oh, heard him. Man. Okay. Uh, hey, Ron. Ron. Huh. Who's John? John. Yeah. I don't know. John. Who? Why don't you come over here? Come over here. Just have a seat. The shade right here. Were you in any kind of argument with anyone in there today? No, we were all kind of yelling. Just kind of yelling? Uh, getting goofy and Goofy? Okay, is there any reason why she would run out of the house naked, yelling that she was uh -huh. assaulted? She, she was mad at me. I wanted to get And uh, she ran out there, and, and uh, I, I don't know what the hell she was doing, really. I tried to get her back in. She came back in. And, Six I don't know. Maybe one of the neighbors called or something. We didn't call. Copy, thanks. Okay, so there was no assault between you and her? No. Okay, is she going to tell us any differently? Because she, she ran out she yelling would. that she ran out yelling that you beat her. Oh, I don't know why she would do that anyway. Well, I don't know. I'm just trying to get to the bottom of it. These are new neighbors over here. Maybe they thought she said that something like that. I don't know. I don't really see no reason why she would say anything like that. Well, the I fact is she did that. say it, and we're just trying to find out why. I don't think she said that. Either. Well, she did. We got several witnesses who said she did. I don't know why she would. I never beat her. OK. Well, we're going to talk to her and get her side of this. OK, I need to clarify is that gonna, is it? something, OK? OK. Um, this was from, to explain, this explain, from this explain, explain what happened again. We were, uh, I woke up this morning and I went to ask him for a cigarette and he just, he woke up and looked at me and went, bam, and just cold cocked me. Uh, and that's how you got this injury right here? Yeah. Okay. This is what he did last night. And that's why I, I slept on the side of the house last night. Inside or outside? Outside? Right, right over here in, the, in this, right down here. Okay. Because he, he's been doing this a couple times. Um, he's in custody now. He's going to go to jail for assault, domestic violence. And he's and, got a warrant on him. Plus, he's going to get booked. Well, he's got two warrants on him. He's got one out of Assault County as well. Oh, right. He's got right. one out of Assault County. And that's a felony warrant. Before he's released, he will be given a no contact order. He will not be able to contact you or come uh, to this house. 
I love you. Hey. I didn't call. I don't have a phone, member. I know, but... Ryan, it's best you just not talk to her right now, okay? Okay. Let's uh, walk down to the car or down to the end of the sidewalk. Where's the tobacco? I don't know. You got your crack pipes on you? Uh, There's no. a corporal route. Okay, uh, city assault, DV. Yeah, I've been asking him all about that, and he's denying it. Yeah, well, so. she's got injuries that prove otherwise. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, anything else? That's it. Okay. You can book for assault domestic violence today because she's got some injuries so she says you put on her. And you know what? I believe her. I, I believe her 100%. I swear, sir, I didn't do that. She's got marks we, on her. I know. I got no electricity there anyway. And we've been walking into stuff for days. She's just pissed off. Apparently, I don't know what the hell's going on. I did not hit her, though. I swear to on my father's grave, I did not no, hit I do her. Not. You were mad at her, but you didn't hit her. I was kind of mad at her, yeah, but I'm not going to hit her. I already did that. I already went that route. No. You go to jail for domestic violence. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, I love the girl. I don't know what the hell she's doing. Teresa, I'm leaving now, OK? Just let well, you know, Ron is on his way to jail. He's getting charged with assault, and there will be a, a restraining order put on him when he gets released, OK? You take care. Thank you.